Hi, I'm Dave Thompson, the executive producer on the NASCAR The Game project over at Utechnics. Recently, we asked the fans and the community if they'd like to submit questions to us so we could run through all the answers and let them know exactly what's going on with the game. So I've got about 20 questions here. Um, I'll try not to bore you all, but here we go. So first of all, will there be a demo for the game? Um, unfortunately, there are no plans for a demo currently. Um, it's something we are constantly looking at. Um, and it's something we're in discussion with Activision about, but um, currently there's just no plans. Um, is the game region free? And if so, which platform? Um, PS3 is always region free. Xbox is region locked along with Wii as well, so um, that means you can't import the game. Um, so um, will there be a PAL release? Again, it's something we're discussing with Activision, our publisher, and uh, I'll let you know if there's any further news on that. And then finally, will there be a PC release? Um, again, it's something we're looking at, it's something we'd really like to do, um, but obviously we just need to make sure that it's going to be worthwhile. Um, so again, watch this space and I'll uh, let you know if there's any movement on that. Um, will there be online AI? Uh, not this time around, unfortunately. Uh, we've managed to uh, really improve the 16-player experience and uh, we wanted to make sure that we didn't compromise any of that by adding AI because um, it's actually very difficult. So currently you can just play 16 players on the um, PS3 and 360. Will the AI drive more aggressively towards the end of the race? Yes, there will. And it's even more than that. The AI actually behave like the real life counterparts. So somebody, for instance, like Kyle or Kurt Busch will drive more aggressively generally through the race compared to say a Reagan Smith or somebody like that. And then what they'll do is towards the end of the race, they'll step things up an extra level, trying to push to get to the front. How often will we see AI-created AI cautions and will there be debris cautions? Um, it, you can't really put a figure on it exactly how often because it's not scripted. It's something that happens at random. You know, it is just like an accident. So um, there will happen, um, but it's just not, well, I can't say to a race or three a race, it just doesn't work that way. And from a point of view of debris cautions, um, it's not something we do because unfortunately there would be a debris caution nearly every lap. Um, those of you following our Race for the Chase series, we had I think eight cautions in the first uh, three laps, so there would be debris everywhere um, and it would kind of be crazy doing debris cautions. So it's just something we, have, we haven't done. Next question, will AI drivers use other drivers to team up and draft back to the pack when they fall behind. Um, when you're playing plate tracks, your teammates or teammates do actually work together more so than they will do with drivers of different teams. So they are definitely more likely to draft with you and give you a good push and, and vice versa. So yes, we, we've supported that feature. How are people who intentionally wreck being handled and can you vote players out in the lobby? Um, we don't allow you to vote players out in the lobby, although in private races the host can kick players if they want to. Now we've had a ghost in this time around, so what happens is if a player is stationary on track or tries to turn around and drive backwards then we're going to ghost the car. It's quite aggressive with the ghosting so it should actually take out the majority of people that try and wreck. Side-to-side um, -side collisions are a little bit more um, difficult to manage because it gets down to who's, who's the aggressor and it's very difficult to, to actually deal with that and, and sort out racing incidents. So really currently the way we do it is if you're stationary you get ghosted, if you pause the game you get ghosted, if you travel backwards you get ghosted. So that will definitely deal with the majority of the wreckers. When playing online can you tweak setups while practicing, during qualifying and before the race starts? Uh, yes you can. Um, this year with online we have a full race weekend which includes practice qualifying and racing and between each of those uh, sessions you're actually taken back to the infield garage um, during practice you can actually keep coming back to the infield garage depending on if you want to tweak setups or change things on the car so and you can do that between each session and it doesn't have to be uh, a setup that you've worked on during that uh, race weekend you might have already saved one and you just want to change it or you're going into qualifying and you've created a special qualifying setup so you can do that as well so there's full flexibility there really um, will there be multiplayer support for the Wii uh, and will it get updates? Uh, unfortunately, there's no multiplayer support for Wii. However, what we do have is four-player split screen. So, you know, that's going to give it an added dimension over the 11 game, um, twice as many players, basically. 
and um, there's a, a field of I believe 22 ish cars on there so it's actually going to be pretty crazy in theory that's 80 cars that you're going to be seeing on screen at once um, because it doesn't have online then we can't support um, updates throughout the year um, so that's just not something we've been able to do um, and another question about the Wii, will it have the paint shop? It doesn't have the paint shop either. Um, we do have custom paint schemes, um, which, is, which is kind of um, a mid-ground to that. And also when you're in your career mode, it does generate a paint scheme for you based on what sponsors you have. So there is, you know, there is a significant step up on 11, uh, but it doesn't actually have the paint shop. Will there be three or four car racing at Daytona and Talladega, or will it be single file? Uh, it does have pack racing, uh, it does have two car town going. If you go and watch the video on the NASCAR The Game TV YouTube channel, you can see we've actually got a video there of Talladega. You can see the three or four wide into corners are pushing each other, generally jostling for positions. So, you know, we've really tried to create that authentic play experience in the game this time round. What's the most realistic features in the game? Uh, I'd like to say the handling is, is ultra realistic. Uh, you know, we've taken another step forward on that this, this time round. Um, and also the way we've implemented the whole race weekend feature I think is, is very realistic. We, ha we have all the sessions in career mode for instance, so we have all the practice sessions. We've also got all the point races now, so you can do the duels, you can do the shootouts, etc. All-star race, they're all there, so we've really gone to a, another level of depth with the whole race weekend. Will your car overheat if you bump you off too long? Yes it will. It will also start to overheat if you're in a pack and it's too tight. Um, but if you lock onto that car in front of you and start pushing it, you're definitely going to send the temperatures through the roof. And what will happen with that as well is your engine loses performance. If the damage option's turned on, then you'll actually um, damage your engine permanently. Um, some of that can be repaired in the pits, but ultimately, if you keep on damaging your engine, you're going to blow your car and you're going to DNF. So, it's important that you just don't keep pushing the car. I mean, you're going to hear it getting damaged. You're going to feel it lose performance. You're going to drop back through the field. So it's quite key that you manage that. And you can see um, the damage as well on the hood with the actual current temperature that it's running as well. So you can watch all that and manage that situation. Has the default tie wear been increased in NASCAR the game in sideline? Uh, yes, it has. We've rebalanced a lot of these um, kind of detailed detailed features as we call them so stuff like uh, fuel use uh, how damage affects the performance how your tires wear and it's not just how your tires wear across the board we actually have different wear figures depending on the surface depending on which track it's on so you know concrete isn't going to wear your track uh, isn't going to wear your tires out as much as say the newly paved uh, daytona surface where the loads aren't so good for instance so um, so we've definitely we've gone to that level of detail in this new version of the game has the setup been improved to help feel the changes you make? Yes, they have. They're a lot more um, noticeable. Um, we've added extra depth again to the, to the setup changes you can make. You can pull spring rubbers, for instance, put spring rubbers back in. Um, you're, al you're allowed to change left-hand side tires, for argument's sake, in the, in the pit stops and stuff like that, which you couldn't do before. So again, we've expanded the whole range of options that you're able to uh, make to the car now. Can you drive the cars in manual? Yes, you can absolutely no problem whatsoever you can actually use a clutch as well this time round um, so uh, we allow you to use a clutch button um, and assign that to either a pedal if you're using steering wheels or you can use it on a, a controller and you can also just use a clutch if you want to to save fuel as well so that's a little tip for you if you want to save fuel in those fuel mileage races then dip the clutch when you're rolling through corners and you'll save that little bit of gas how is the damage model improved well, this year we've completely redeveloped the damage model. We've gone for a lot more crush and bend rather than the tear and shred that we had last year. So now when you kind of career into the wall at 180, 180 miles an hour, the whole front of the end of the car is actually going to collapse. Um, parts will still come off just like they do in real races and bits will still tear. They do do that in real races. But the emphasis on this year's damage model is a lot more on the deformation and the crushing and the, the scrapes and the you know the tire rubs and things like that. So it's, it's just completely new and I think it looks absolutely fantastic. How has the paint booth been improved and can you have multiple sponsor logos on your car? Well, the big feature for the paint booth this year is the mirror mode and that allows you to place decals on one side of the car and then they automatically get mirrored to the other side of the car without actually using an extra layer. And the clever thing that we do as well with things like um, 
characters that you type in, the text that you type in, we actually reverse that as well so you don't have to do that yourself. Um, we've also added uh, numerous real life sponsors, real life NASCAR sponsors, and those are actually there as stickers so you can apply those as well. Um, so there's a, there's a good deal of change which will allow some of you uh, really clever painters to make some absolutely amazing schemes. Um, will you be able to pick numbers for career mode or only ones that are not taken by real drivers? In career mode you can only pick numbers that aren't currently being used in the field so you can't have duplicate numbers basically. Um, but if you're creating your own paint schemes and you want to run in, in um, the likes of Quick Race or something like that you can actually generate the numbers now in the paint booth and that number gets automatically applied to the car. Uh, last year that didn't happen, you still had to put those on the side of the car, but now you can. In career mode, you're actually your own team. So you're not driving for Hendrick, you're not driving for Roush or anything like that. So when you get a real life sponsor, you get a new made up a scheme that we've created. So it could be Home Depot, for instance, um, and you get a great brand new scheme by Home Depot. And then as you get new sponsors, they're automatically placed onto your car. Um, you don't have to do that. So you're always going to be, um, you'll always have a great looking scheme. It's not something you're going to have to create, basically. Why wasn't Nationwide and Truck Series included? Uh, it's essentially down to the amount of work involved. Uh, for every sponsor every sticker every car uh, every driver there's an immense amount of work involved you know we reproduce things to a, to a minute level of detail and every single asset has to be approved by the team by by the sponsors by the drivers so to actually incorporate trucks and nationwide it's just a massive amount of work it's it's not that we won't do it ever but you know we're really concentrating on cut first that's a major series that we want to get right and then we may do nationwide we may do trucks uh, we just have to see how it goes really and I, I think i think that's it i think we're done on the questions so thanks to everybody that uh, submitted the questions hopefully i've been able to give you an insight as to you know how the game's been developed and and what's going to be coming out the game's out on november the 6th on playstation 3 wii and xbox 360 and hopefully everybody will enjoy it thank you